Shopify is e-commerce monster from Canada, is my top pick for July. Last time we made Shopify video, their market cap was almost 50% lower. Today's market cap is around $120 billion. We will talk about amazing contracts and collabs Shopify made with companies from us to get to this market cap. Shares of Shopify gained 25.3% in June, according to data from S&P Global Market Intelligence. The e-commerce services stock posted another month of big gains thanks to a major new partnership. Walmart announced on June 15 that it would feature select Shopify stores on its third-party online retail marketplace, a development that could have big implications for the competitive landscape in the e-commerce space. Shopify's valuation saw significant gains following the news, and shares continued to climb as analysts raised their price targets on the stock. Walmart will feature products from select Shopify-powered businesses directly on its website. The retail giant expects that it will be selling goods from roughly 1,200 Shopify partners by the end of this year. Imagine the impact on this year revenue for Shopify. Let me remind you that Walmart is biggest retailer in US, with expected $524 billion in revenue for 2020. Canada taps Black Bear and Shopify to help it develop COVID-19 contact tracing apps. The new tech, which employs Bluetooth technology, is expected to launch in July in Ottawa. Dubbed COVID Alert, its users can tell the system if they have tested positive for the virus, and the tech, in turn, will be able to alert individuals who came into contact with them. If you are a fan of tech stocks like I am, please smash the like button. It would help us a lot with YouTube algorithm, and I will remind you that 96% of people watching our videos are not subscribed. You know what you need to do. Last month, Facebook said it would partner with Shopify, among other e-commerce platforms, to launch a new online shopping marketplace called Facebook Shops. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg highlighted Shopify's participation during the video announcement. A nod at the importance of the partnership. At the time, he interviewed Shopify CEO Tobias Lutke, who said that by pairing Shopify's e-commerce capabilities and Facebook's reach and scale, we are reducing the barriers to entrepreneurship and advancing the future of commerce. Wall Street will be looking for positivity from SHOP as it approaches its next earnings report date. Estimate for revenue is projecting net sales of $498.22 million, up 37.64% from the year-ago period. I am pretty sure they will beat those numbers during the pandemic we are living in right now. Why I think they will beat the numbers. Soon you think Shopify cannot surprise you anymore in 2020. They made a killing deal with Chipotle this time. Chipotle Mexican Grill is helping the farmers that support its supply chain with a new program that will improve each farm's e-commerce website, the company announced Tuesday. This initiative is designed to help support Chipotle's most important suppliers by developing new revenue streams and affording them additional ways to sell their products directly to consumers. The program, Chipotle Virtual Farmers Market, will be hosted on Shopify, a multinational e-commerce platform and point-of-sale system. Farmers who take part in this program will be able to sell meat, dairy, and grain products directly to U.S. consumers. Moreover, Chipotle will pay for the hosting of these new farm websites for two years, which can range between $29 and $299 per month, according to Shopify's current pricing. Check out ShopStock. Don't forget to subscribe and leave the comment if you learned something new today. Love you all. See you soon.